Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's hair care review. So today I have a product I've talked about a lot, but I've never actually shown on camera, and it is the original Batiste dry shampoo. So if you'd like to see me trying it out and my opinion on it, then please keep on watching. Um, like it said, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so subscribe, hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss the daily videos. Um, I also do a live stream every Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come hang out, come chat with me. I really do love getting to know my viewers and subscribers. Okay, so Batiste. I absolutely love Batiste dry shampoo. I don't purchase it very often. It's probably been five or six years because it is extremely expensive. So this regularly retails for about $9.00. Did get it on sale for $3.99 at my local local Kroger's, but Batiste for me was the original dry shampoo brand. Um, Batiste has been around since 1975, so this brand has been around for 45 years, and it is the number one um, brand for dry shampoo, which I can honestly see why. They do have a lot of different varieties. They have one for blonde hair, brunettes whole bunch of different scents but this is the original so okay so my hair is not clean um i don't wash my hair daily anymore and i don't use dry shampoo very often um just because i've done some research and if you do have like thinning hair or fragile hair using too much dry shampoo can actually aggravate that and make it worse but it's been a while so i'm gonna go ahead and use this but okay it has a really good scent. It is pretty strong, but this is supposed to absorb oil, sweat, and leave your hair refreshed. So if you don't like a strong scent, you probably won't like this. But of course, it's just like regular dry shampoo. You just hold it like seven to 10 inches away from your hair and spray it. So it's loud, but you see, I mean, it does have the white residue. I mean, instantly my hair feels so much cleaner and I haven't even rubbed it in yet. Okay, so um, I usually do dry shampoo before I go to bed if I do use it, but obviously it's not nighttime. I do have a little bit of makeup on, so I'm going to let this sit for like 10 minutes. I'm going to come back, rub it in, brush it out, and show you what it looks like after you do all that. Oakley doakley, it's been about 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and start rubbing it in. And as you can see, my hair is not like dark, dark, but it's not light by any means. And the white does dissipate pretty well. I don't know if you had like super dark hair, like black hair or something, you might still have a little bit of residual whiteness, but it does go away with some rubbing. Um, smells really good. I can still smell it, but I mean, look how much nicer that looks. It looks clean, there's no oil, and the great thing about Batiste is that it doesn't leave like a gummy or powdery residue like some dry shampoos. It just feels clean, which is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, it's great, great dry shampoo. Like I said, it's my favorite. Um, I think if you can find it on sale, or if you don't mind spending the eight or nine dollars, I definitely recommend it. It's great stuff. I don't think you'd be disappointed. And like I said, they do have ones for dark hair and light hair, so you don't have to just get the original. But I really do like the original. I mean, it's just so nice. My hair feels clean and full of body. And it feels like it's been shampooed, which is lovely. Don't have a ton of flyaways or static with it, like some other dry shampoos. So yes, it is great stuff. So if you're looking for a really, really good dry shampoo, definitely recommend the Batiste Original. It's amazing stuff. It just, I don't know, it's just amazing. So definitely recommend it. I will go ahead and link this down below. It will be an Amazon affiliate link. 
Um, you definitely can use it, but you definitely don't have to. But I really wanted to show you how this stuff works. I've done lots of dry shampoo reviews, and this is still my absolute favorite dry shampoo. It's just amazing. All the white is gone, and just leaves the hair feeling very fresh, clean, and not gummy or powdery or anything like that. So it's amazing stuff. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's hair care review. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below. Have you tried any of the Batiste dry shampoos? What were your thoughts? I would love to know down below. And just so you know, I do have a Mercari page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare. I also have another channel called Gourmet on a Budget where I upload daily on budget food. And I also have a Facebook group where we just chat and hang out, share pictures and memes. So I'll have all three listed down below for you if you're interested. So check them out if you'd like. You're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.